It's the Tony Rose Show, D93, and a brand new hot show on ABC Sunday nights, 9 o'clock here locally. The company you keep, lots of names you know in it, including uh, one of my favorite actors in Hollywood, uh, joins us uh, on the show, uh, one of the stars of the show, uh, William Fishner. Good morning, William. How you doing, buddy? Good to, hear, good to talk to you again, man. This new show, The Company You Keep, it's, it is pretty hot, man. This show's got a lot of stuff going on, buddy. No, I love it, you know, and I'm really happy for that because, you know, when you when you when you shoot a series in the first season, uh, you know, you don't know how it's going to be received. All you yeah. really know is, you know, what you're doing and what you see in front of you, and 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 I've I've had the best time working on it, and I, you know, so I, I look at everything and I'm like, I think this has what it takes, but you never know, right? You never know until it it comes out and see how people receive it, but. uh Apparently, it's been very well received, and 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 I really love that. I love that because uh, you know you put your heart and soul into something. You just want you want people to have the experience that you know, hopefully, pretty close to the good experience that that I'm having. Yeah, and I think that's what's happening. You know, just and when you watch it, it, it's it's. I think how you go into it, you can find what you're looking for. If you're looking for, uh, you know, a heist, and you're looking for high action, and you're looking for, you know. You know, the good guys and the bad guys, you've got that. If you're looking for that kind of sultry, under-the-cover, forbidden love story, you've got that, too. It kind of, it's it's something literally that, that no matter what you're looking for, you're going to kind of find that itch to be scratched with it. Yeah, and and on top of all of that, you know, then it's, you know, it, there's got to be a glue. There's got to be a world. Yeah. There's got to be a world that's created that's a believable world. Because a lot of times I've worked on things before where, it seemed like all the elements were so cool, and then at the end of the day, you watched it. Or, and I don't watch a lot of things that I do, but you know, eventually, I'll end up seeing something and going, "Ah, that didn't, that didn't look as good as it felt." I think with the company you keep, it's it's a bit different. I do think the world that Julia Cohen, who wrote the original yeah. uh, pilot script, uh, she created, is uh, is is a good one. Good scripts. Yeah, the more you read them, the deeper you go. The more they tell you. And uh, as an actor, that's what you're looking for, the, you know, deeper layers of who the characters are, who your character is. And I feel like from the very beginning, the very first time that I read the script, I'm like, that script does that. Uh, I'd, I'd love to be involved. Did you know uh, going into it uh, when you were when you were cast and you were talking about uh, the, the company you keep that uh, Sarah Wayne Callis was going to be part of it as well, that you guys may have a little prison break reunion there with everything? I didn't know that. And, you know, this is uh, actually, you know, <clears throat> this is last year when we shot the pilot last May, June, yeah. before we went into series in the fall. And we did a Zoom. You know, we're in the yeah. age of Zoom now right. with the pandemic and everything. And we did a Zoom. And the day before I got the list of, you know, who's going to be on the Zoom, we're all going in. It's We're going to Zoom it for the network, read the pilot script. And I saw Sarah's name, and I'm like, oh, she's playing my daughter. <laughs> well, all right then. Yeah, um, and, 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 and was that weird? Is that a weird dynamic a little bit? No, no, it's great because I really, she's an angel and, yeah. and, uh, and a wonderful actress. And, you know, I didn't get a chance, you know, our paths didn't cross a ton on uh, uh, Prison Break right. back then. You know, she was kind of in a different world, and um, yeah. and I was uh, so to see her on this. I never really, you know, got a chance to work with her as much as I do now. She plays my daughter, so yeah. you know, we get a chance to have real scenes together, and it's such a different show. And you know, honestly, as, as much fun as I had on Prison Break, this is way more my speed. This sort of, the sort of drama and and the dynamics of of this family that owns this bar, the Nicolettis. This is more my thing. And so um, it's just great. I, you know, listen, I see her almost every day at work. I just heard you say drama. It made me think of uh, when you were Johnny Drama's agent on Entourage, too, when you were Phil on Entourage. It just came to me. It's like, oh, my gosh. Uh, you've done so many roles, and we know you from so many great uh, movie roles, TV roles out there. Literally, you can't name the entire list in, in eight or ten minutes. But of all the roles, and I, this is a this is a question we wanted to make sure we ask you: of all the roles, if you were not an actor, if you were not the talented actor that you are, and you had to pick one of the jobs of the characters that you've played, which which would you go with? Like of all the different roles, because you've done it all. You've been good guy, bad guy. You've been working man. You've been rich man. What role do you pick? 
as like a as, favorite as you, that I had. no as as a real job if you if you were not an actor and you could just play the job oh, okay, yeah. the real job the uh, real job yeah uh, uh, well, boy, that's, that's tough uh, right yeah because uh, I don't know being you know flying a space shuttle to go <laughs> save the planet that's pretty cool it's pretty cool okay you know, that's yeah. not something you get to do you know coming from a suburb of Buffalo right um, <laughs> yeah I go, go with that. Um, uh, William, as always, it's 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 a pleasure. You're you're one of the best. You've been in so many great great shows out there. We thank you so much for the roles that you've given us and continue to give us the company you keep. New episodes Sunday night, nine o'clock local here. Real quick, before I let you get out of here, uh, what are we seeing this week on the show? Catches up in the story and uh, kind of give us a, a quick uh, preview of what's happening on Sunday. Uh, the new episode coming up is uh, we have to we. We have to come up with some money, and we yeah. have to come up with an idea, and we got to do it quick. And uh, we're we're a smart family; we move fast. But Charlie Milo Ventimiglia, who plays my son, has an idea, and uh, we we go to a racetrack, and that's okay. all I'm going to say. Okay. All right. All right. I, I, we'll we'll find out Sunday night, nine o'clock local here on ABC, the company you keep. Uh, we have Thank you so much, sir. Uh, continue. Best of luck. We'd love to have you back on again soon. But uh, as always, uh, appreciate what you do, and thanks for the time. Anytime. Take care of yourself.